Hi, my name is Maddie McCullough. I'm the financial aid counselor here at Maryville College, and I'm going to walk you through how to complete the direct loan agreement or MPN or master promissory note. So first things first, you're going to go to maryvillecollege.edu. Um, you are going to go up to the top and click on the quick links option. And that will create a drop down menu and you'll see the option of financial aid system. So you're going to select that and that will take you to a login page for our financial aid portal. You are going to log in in the top right with your Maryville College email address and your password. Um, I'll stop right here and say if you do not know your password, if you are experiencing issues logging in, um, you can uh, select the forgot your password option right there under the submit button um, or first time user options. Um, or alternatively, you can just reach out to the financial aid office. We would be happy to help you. Um, we are able to troubleshoot and even reset your password or unlock your account if that becomes an issue. So um, definitely reach out to us if you have any issues getting logged in. Um, but otherwise, just log in with your Maryville College email address and password. Um, this will take you to the welcome page. Um, please make sure that you read all of the information on this page. It just tells you um, all of the things that you need to know. Um, you can see we have contact information on the right side. Um, double check and make sure that you are logged in at the correct award year. So for example, please make sure that you're logged in for 2021-2022 um, instead of a different award year because that will impact the information that you see. So we are going to move forward and complete the direct loan agreement or MPN. So you'll start by going to the menu, which is on the top left side of the screen. That will create a drop down bar. Um, go ahead and select documents and messages, and that will take you to the documents and messages tab. Now, this page will show you all of the documents, messages, and other requirements um, that are on your account or that are uh, required of you. So scroll on down on this screen and you will see a list of your documents or things that are required of you. This page is just an example of potential documents that you may have on your account. So so we are going to select Direct Loan Agreement, MPN, and you'll notice that the status of this direct loan agreement is not received. That status column is uh, to the right of the document column. Um, if your status of your direct loan agreement is not received, that means we have not received your MPN or that direct loan agreement yet. So you will need to follow that link. So we'll go ahead and click that link and that will take you to the studentaid.gov website. Um, and this is the section of that website where you can complete your master promissory note or MPN. So this page tells you a little bit about what a master promissory note or MPN is. So make sure that you read over that and understand what you are doing by completing this master promissory note. So you are an undergraduate student, so when it asks you to choose the direct loan MPN that you want to complete, you are going to select I am an undergraduate student. You will need to log in to start. Um, if you are not quite ready to complete your MPN, you can also view a demo. Um, you can select view demo directly under the login to start button. And that will just take you through all of the ins and outs of the MPN process and help you understand exactly what that process is going to look like. But if you are ready, you can go ahead and select login to start. That will take you to the login screen um, where you log in with your FSA ID, username, and password. If you don't know your username or password, you could also use your email or mobile phone in place of your username. Um, your FSA ID is what you used whenever you created your FAFSA. So you should have that FSA ID and password um, written down somewhere or saved somewhere. But if you happened to lose it, you can retrieve your username and password by clicking forgot my username or forgot my password. The Federal Student Aid website is really great about helping you retrieve your information if you have lost it. So once you have successfully logged in, that will take you through the secure MPN process. Um, you will be taken through a five-step 
process. It's just five pages in that studentaid.gov website. Um, and you will just follow the prompts and read carefully to complete your master promissory note. Once your master promissory note has been completed, it should be um, updated in your financial aid portal. The status of that master promissory note should be changed to received. So once you have fully completed the MPN process, make sure to log back in to your financial aid portal to double check that that status has been updated to received.